Hey there, Taurus. Getting ready to start your reading. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. Uh, this will be a general collective reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So if your messages are not here, please be sure and just check your other placements. You might find them there. This is going to be a love reading. If anything else comes up during the course of the reading, I will, of course, cover that as well. Okay. My intention is to be a love reading. And we're going to start with just looking at your person and who you're dealing with. Spirit guides an angel. Who Taurus this person? Who is this person on Taurus's mind? Who is Taurus is with? Who is this person? In my Taurus collective. Show me what's going on with them, please. Hmm, I just heard Jamie. I don't know if that's someone's name. Just came out. Okay, Andrew. <laughs> but I've, I bet I've shuffled this card, so I don't know, at least 20 times. And you're starting out with the same card as uh, a Capricorn. So you may also be dealing with uh, a Capricorn. Luis or Louise, something like that. Louis, maybe. Okay, another name that I'm hearing. Okay, here, I don't know which one goes first. I think it's going to be the Page of Swords. You got, you got a watcher here. You got somebody who is watching you, it looks like. Oh, okay, so you may not be talking to this person. It may have actually ended. Just take a look here. This could very well be someone that... Um, hmm... I don't know, actually, I think that this person has a lot of vision. For what, <laughs> I get the strangest things off these cards sometimes. I feel like this person is looking or was looking at the long term, it appears to me, with you. Um, you may have met them, perhaps, even while you were traveling, something like that. Maybe even around work, but not really getting that strongly around work, though it could be. Perhaps while you're traveling, they may also live elsewhere. So they may even live, uh, I'm feeling like, a, you know, it could be over water somewhere, perhaps even um, maybe in another country, you know, somewhere over water is what I'm feeling like you would have to cross water to get there. Uh, maybe you guys had some kind of online relationship or um, maybe you, you know, maybe it was a, a, an actual physical relationship too, but you didn't see each other very often. I do feel like this person um, definitely was looking at the looking at something a little more long term or wanting something a bit more long term. It seems person could also have dark hair. I feel like this person now is in some kind of rest and relaxation mode. You know, they're definitely trying to rest from from whatever is happening in, the, in their life and potentially in this. I, you know, obviously I go into this reading with the intention that it is a relationship spread. So I trust spirit to give me what I need. Uh, but the four swords here always tells me that somebody is down. They're taking time. They are trying to recuperate in some way. I suppose they could have been sick as well. Uh, but I feel like they are recovering in some way from this. Uh, a lot of mental fatigue, too, I'm feeling. Um, again, it could very well be from this, or it could be from something else that's going on. This person is watching you, though. I do also, I'm wondering if this is a long-distance relationship for some of you guys, too, because I do feel like there's a, there's a lot of watching and probably a lot of communication that was happening online. Whatever happened with this situation, I feel like it could have actually ended that way too. It may not have actually ended face to face. That's unfortunate. Uh, but somebody here with a world card is cert certainly uh, feeling like a cycle has come to completion. And obviously with the Ten of Swords, they're feeling uh, that, you know what, that's probably why they're in the Four of Swords right here because they're feeling like something ended. It may have been shockingly, but they're feeling a bit betrayed or hurt over this ending. 
stabbed in the back. That's interesting. Yeah, even stabbed in the back. This is a, a horrific stabbed in the back card, by the way, on this 10. Look at this. The guy is completely slouched over and just has a, every single solitary one of those swords in his back. So... I feel like somebody could have darker skin in this situation too. You know, maybe from different backgrounds. I'm sure I'm getting that. Maybe because of the overseas thing. Okay, uh, do clarify for me, Spirit Guides and Angels, what is this Ten of Swords about? Why is this person feeling just like this is ended? Or why are they feeling this Ten of Swords energy? Ended. Why did it end? Hmm. Oh wow! Something happened here because I feel like you guys had some. Y'all were happy together. This might have been very sudden. I think I said that maybe even shocking. But, you know, I feel like you guys are very happy together. I think they feel like they lost something. Maybe it was due to their own actions. Maybe it was due to something that was caught, you know, maybe online. Something that somebody could have saw, I, I guess. But feeling like in some way they don't have their happiness anymore. They don't have... Um, you know, I guess whatever joy this this situation was kind of bringing them, I think they feel like they have been cheated. Oh, that's crazy out of that in some way. And then, of course, we have the Page of Wands, okay? So, although this is over, you may actually, especially with this person healing right now, also have a, a Knight of Pentacles here. I don't know how long this has been in this stagnant, if it's in a stagnant situation. I'm not sure how long it has been. Long enough, obviously, to send this person into some kind of healing. I can also see in this Three of Wands that they're heavily focused on this situation, like almost like they're studying this situation and also watching you, okay? Keeping an eye on you, maybe trying to figure out exactly what is what is happening with you. But they definitely felt feel like it whether they ended it or you did or whatever happened here even if it was just an argument it seemed as though it suddenly ended um they're feeling like their their happiness has been uh taken away in some way okay they may actually end up sending you some kind of message when i see the page of wands i mean you know the page of wands can be young obviously this may be a younger person but you know they're they're also very um, energetic usually you know they're very creative they like to you know they're, they're not afraid to start something up you know they're a fire sign so um, we also have Leo here by the way we also have um, Virgo Capricorn Taurus as well what else do we have we have it looks to me like we also have Gemini Libra Aquarius so it could be any of those a lot of swords energy in here though so certainly somebody that's in their head but I feel like they've really been kind of thinking about things, trying to pull themselves together. They want to think this through very carefully. So the Knight of Pentacles is not a very fast-moving knight, as you know. This is somebody that likes to really, really take their time. They like to um, think through things very carefully. They want to know the direction that things are going in. I actually love this knight because although they are so slow that it can it can you know feel awful if you're on the waiting in but at least when they come in they have made uh, a solid effort if you're still waiting now unfortunately sometimes they take so long that somebody's not waiting but you know this person has really thought this through i feel like very very carefully um and definitely understanding that you know they're not getting any joy out of the situation the way it is they want to bring the spark back they want to bring um yeah they want to bring the happiness back into this situation they want to feel that happiness again that's for sure and so i think they may be moving in okay at a slow pace so if you are someone that's been waiting um now this could also be a new person just so you know, if this is a past person, you'll know this will be your story. But this could also be a new person that you have not had uh, any kind of relationship with. And now maybe uh, they've been through another situation 
they may know you, they may keep an eye on you, but maybe they've been through a very difficult situation and they're ready to come out of that. They're ready to, to go back into their happiness again and try to make, um, you know, some kind of, uh, you know, try to start something new in a new direction. Okay, so if this is a brand new person, that's what it is. But the good news is this person is a, you know, slow, methodical person in a lot of ways in terms of they don't just... They don't just act um, impulsively, I'm feeling. They think things through before they make any kind of decision. Look at this. First card out, spying, watching, inspecting. Somebody definitely keeping an eye on you, Taurus. Um, looking at you, uh, inspecting. I love the word <laughs> inspecting, right? Because I said watching you very, very carefully. That's what they're doing. Um, again, if you haven't been with them, they could be wondering, you know, is this person involved with someone else? Because they could have had a terrible situation in the past. If this is not a past person and this is not you that was tied up in this situation as well. It could be either scenario I'm feeling. All right. Spirit guys and angels, talk to me. Give me some more information surrounding this situation, please, with my Taurus collective. You tell me. Somebody has an online relation, or a lot of your, I feel like a lot of your communication is happening online. Mm, I got that self worth. Uh, so, could have had, also could be, you know, wondering if they're, will you accept them? They may have had some self worth issues, but this card also talks about expectations, okay? You know, I, this right here is a person, again, that thinks very long and hard about anything that they do. I know, Look, I know Tauruses very well. I have a, tons of friends that are Taurus. I love Tauruses. But you guys, I mean, you, you tend to know what you want, honestly. And you do have expectations. <laughs> expectations of your own life. Expectations of others, of course, that are going to be in your energy. And nothing wrong with that. So, um, you know, they could also wonder, you know, they might be coming with expectations, I just heard. They may also have their own set of expectations, especially if they've been through something traumatic like it looks like up top here. Hmm. Okay. Was there another party involved if this was a past situation? So again, I'm going to touch on that again. It looks like there was external influences that were involved. This shows three women of course but it doesn't have to be it just shows that there were external uh, factors that got involved um, with this situation yeah whatever this person has been through it looks like there were third there was something else that actually got involved whatever it was it led to this okay and that is a, a terrible ending it looks like it may have been very swift but it has not stopped somebody from Definitely from scoping you out and watching you. Yeah, so this, I, you know what, this reeks of the past to me. I'm so sorry. But if it's a new person, that's wonderful. That's fantastic. But this, somebody wants to bring in truth, okay? They know that they were not very truthful is what I'm getting. Um, they want to have a truthful, I feel like, honest uh, situation. Hang on, I feel like the cards flip over. Let me get those. Yeah. They want to have, um, they want to have truth. They want to be able to express some truth, okay, in this situation. And I think that they're wanting to have a partnership that is going to be based on that. So again, if it's past person, they didn't do that before, especially if there were other parties that were involved. I'm feeling like they either want to know the truth or they want to give some truth in this situation. Why? Because you feel like home to them, okay? You feel like family. This card is also a part of commitment. All right, this card talks about taking things to a higher level. This is this night here is all about taking things, making a solid offer, and, and wanting to take things into a more stable uh, place because they're wanting a rebirth. All right, a rebirth in this situation. Now, this card, with that card, with the rebirth card, it's also talking about timing. And so it could be coming up here in the winter. Now, I'm in North America, so here, of course, the winter is now. So if you were over here, it could be in the coming months for sure. 
All right, so you guys and angels, any more messages here for the Tauruses that you want them to know? Yeah, you could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius here. This is also an ace. Okay, an ace card. Of course, this is telling me, this is talking to me about having a new start. Okay, someone wanting a new start. So we have rebirth now. We have, you know, someone coming in with all this fire, all this passion, wanting to have a new start here. Hmm. Yeah, here's I you cannot make it up until debt tear us apart. Until debt tear us apart. That's cute. So this is talking about commitments. All right. Um somebody is definitely wanting to have a commitment here, and it's going to be a higher commitment. I just feel it. I can feel it so strongly, and we have too many cards to suggest it. As long as it took them to even make this decision, um, maybe they were not willing to cut out things in the past, or maybe somebody thought that there was somebody else that was involved in this and very well could have been, ended the situation, took away their happiness. You know, now they want to come in and bring some kind of truth because they have had a very long time it appears they thought long and hard about what they want and what they really want is not all this what they want is some kind of commitment okay they want to be with a person who feels like home to them they want a rebirth in this situation again they want a commitment all right wow and they're watching you they are definitely watching you here goes an angel. Give me a couple more cards, please, for my Taurus. Is there any more information you may want to from that? Oh, all right. Yeah, so another ace here. How many aces is that? I think it might only be two, actually. Yeah, but still two. We got two aces on the board. You could also be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. Again, the ace, you know, this is basically an ace of pentacles here. This again shows me this is an offer. Somebody wanting to plant their seed with you. Somebody looking for long-term uh, long stability here. Wanting to offer you something more stable than what they actually offered in the past. And then we have another card about time, and it says it could be uh, during harvest season, so in the autumn, which could be several months away. This may have also actually taken place in the autumn, and maybe you've not seen any movement since then. Yeah, this person's been sitting in a lot of regret, okay? I feel like they've repressed their emotions quite a bit, so you may not have actually heard from them. Um in a while or maybe they've just been stuck kind of watching you but being silent Let me get one more card and then we're going to go straight to it guys yeah because <laughs> you're their wish fulfillment okay they want to come in they definitely want to come all right look, but you can't even <laughs> this reading is so clear to me okay something else got involved in the past and i think this person was not willing to uh, potentially make a decision here or maybe somebody thought there was external people that were involved whatever it was i do feel like something happened because they're wanting to come in and express truth okay that speaks volumes to me that tells me that something happened you know or, or maybe they're just saying listen i know that i had other options but i want to drop that i don't want that anymore i want to be with you you know, I've thought very, very long and hard about this. Clearly, I've taken my time. You know, you were my happiness. You're where I wanted to be. You fulfill me. I want to rebirth in this situation. Okay, I want us to have a higher commitment. And you have that several times over here. Wow. So, I think you definitely have somebody that has taken their time and, and healed and come into to quite a bit of their own clarity. Taurus. Quite a bit. All right. So your guts and angels. Do we have any advice from my lovely Taurus says? What do you want Taurus to know? In this situation. Yeah, you guys must be in separation. I've seen that twice while I'm shuffling here. Yeah, it does say love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Honestly, I really feel like you've been doing that. I think certainly for most of you guys, I think that uh, also with the self-worth here, you know, maybe that is, you know, you have 
Of course, access your full self-worth, like jump back into your power. I think this person has really seen this while they've been watching and inspecting you, basically just, you know, playing this spy game. You got so many cards here to indicate that. But they also could see that you were stepping into your power and that you were going to have, uh, you know, some, some expectations. You may have switched up on them a little bit in terms of... Um, I'm sure you probably had expectations or maybe you didn't maybe it was quite casual but now they can see that i don't know what they're watching maybe they're just watching you maybe they're watching your post something along those lines wedding this situation involves marriage there's that higher commitment you know i mean we saw that three times i don't think there's any doubts here that this is what they're after it's just a flirt yeah Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. And then it says true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay. So this is definitely <laughs> something that is that is heading towards commitment. Just plain and simple. There's no other way to look at this. I think any damage that has been done is being moved to the past here. Uh, hopefully, if you guys can get through it, I think this person has definitely made a decision uh, if you are still waiting on that, if you're willing to work through things on that, most of you know that this person is your true love is what I'm getting. And maybe you have been waiting and now you're going to get the opportunity here because they're coming in. It looks to me like gangbusters, even if they don't show it on their face. A lot of passion here, though, wanting commitment. OK, and we have that several times here. So that's what it's going to lead to. And then, of course, this situation involves marriage. So you may find yourself in a, in a much higher commitment. Um, definitely, you know, it could be by the end of this year for sure. Okay, that's what I have for you guys, Taurus. Hopefully it resonates with some of you. If it does, please don't forget to like uh, and, of course, subscribe if you're not already subscribed um, and comment below. Okay, and I will catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye, Taurus. Peace.